Contact. Hold your position. Hold. If you're new to the project, a big warm welcome. If you're a tough old route, then welcome back. First off, that was a sticker on my glasses. We decided to just leave it in there after putting so much effort in this little short film of ours that we included in this review. Speaking of review, today we are talking about body armor, specifically level four body armor composite plates from Mira Tactical. So you can see my kit here on the table. Um, the rifle, everything else, really nothing matters in this review except for the plate. However, the plate carrier is also gonna have a link in the description because it's cheap and it is comfortable. I have some amount of experience wearing plate carriers, you know, from the past, and this one works even though it is cheap. So look in the description for that. Also look in the, the description for the star of the show, the actual level four composite plates. Level four is about a, the best body armor you can get for personal protection, something you can actually carry. Which, speaking of, what makes this body armor so cool is how lightweight that it is. I don't know how many people have had contact with steel plates, probably quite a few in the grand scheme of things, um, but this weighs almost nothing compared to regular AR-500 steel plates. And that's its main selling point. It is also level four, which is higher than most of your, most of your steel plates. So being lightweight is the number one thing this guy has got going for it. Uh, Mira Tactical is a legitimate company, right? We didn't shoot this body armor, A, because I didn't want to shoot my only pair. Uh, you know, I didn't get five pairs from them. I got one, and uh, by God, I'm keeping that. Uh, but also because this is not armor bought from Wish. This is not some, some third-rate site in which you need to test the body armor to see if it's real. This is real. I can tell that it's real. Uh, you, you can tell by the quality, you can tell by how it feels. To some extent, you can tell by the price that you pay. Um, if you guys want to see free body armor or really, really cheap homemade stuff, I can do that. But if you have any money at all, buy one of these. Uh, the lightweightness is... Really, see, I stopped personally wearing uh, steel body armor. I stopped. I got rid of mine. I no longer had a pair of body armor until now because the weight was too much. Uh, steel armor, it just, right, you are protected. But for me pers personally, and I'm not necessarily an unfit person, I could wear that half a day and then, and then, and then the risk of injury just blew through the roof because I would have been collapsed in a ditch. So having something lightweight you can actually work in is crucial. Um, mobility versus protection. Right, and, uh, and, and both of these systems are on your person. So mobility is high. Regardless to say, if possible, go with composite plates. That saved weight is crucial. There are two other points that I wanna talk about. Um, so the body armor rating is about as high as you can get. The weight is about as low as you can get. That should be enough to buy this if you have the money. These are not necessarily extremely cheap plates but how much is your, your life worth, right? Uh, uh, in a pinch, we can come up with something for free or almost, but if not, definitely go with this. However, the other two points is the thickness. These plates are gonna be thicker than 500 steel. Um, that's just part of it. That is sort of that give and take. These are thicker plates, so it is harder to conceal um, maybe if you've got some third-rate carrier, and, and I mean third-rate is in lesser than this cheap carrier I have here, uh, you may have some fitment issue there. Um, but they are a little bit thicker. That is important to note uh, uh, before purchasing or, or just looking at this system in general. Uh, the other thing, the other bonus for these is spall protection. When <clears throat> So you, your, your steel plates have a spalling coating on them. And, uh, and that works, you know, as long as it's a decent plate and decent spall protection coating, it should work. However, if you've seen any of the 
impacts. Uh, if you have a steel target, you will see all the way around that target collateral damage from the bullet actually shattering. You will not have spall with this. If there's any spall at all, it would be from multiple hits um, in one spot, and all of that spalling would be going out. So there is no level four ceramic plates in this configuration are like a catcher's mitt, right? Uh, uh, AR-500 steel is like hitting a brick wall. The bullet literally explodes. Um, it cannot penetrate. Uh, the steel is, is dramatically harder than the bullet itself. So it explodes. And those little pieces of bullet are still dangerous. They're moving incredibly quickly. Um, with this, this is a catcher's mitt. So versus an impenetrable wall, you have a mitt. Uh, and this, this whole spalling is not really an issue with these. Um, a downside to them, they are multiple hit rated, but giving, given enough shots in a small area, it will eventually get through. However, that's true with any armor. So, I'm, I mean, uh, you, you can't necessarily stand there and just get shot all day with these, but for your average, even military encounter, um, um, the multi-hit capability of ceramic plates are more than enough. As an added bonus for watching this video for you tough old roots, there's a discount code in the description. So by all means, before you purchase this product, make use of that code and save yourself some money. In conclusion, I like it. Um, it is thick. It is also lightweight. It is multi-hit capable. Um, and, and, and the spalling protection is higher than your cheaper steel plates. I would encourage everyone, whether you are a gun guy, a prepper, or not, even the opposite end of that spectrum. Let's say you hate guns. You need to buy this, right? If you hate guns and you don't own body armor, like make use of all the tools available to you. Um, I, I, I will not listen to any arguments from someone who dislikes guns but doesn't own body armor. It's only smart to make use of all the tools available to you. And body armor, as far as I can tell, uh, I have not tried to go shopping with it on. Uh, it is no different than clothing, as far as I can tell. Check your own local laws. Do not just take Steep in the Woods word as, as, as gospel here. Um, but the idea is this is no different than clothing. You can go anywhere with it. So if you are one of those people on the opposite end of the spectrum from us here with, you know, uh, 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 with, with self-protection capabilities, I encourage you to also buy this. So it gets a thumbs up from Steep in the Woods. It is awesome. It is lightweight, which is just the killer. And that's just the number one thing about it, man. It's lightweight. Um, and it will fit all genres of people, whether you're on one side or the other. I encourage everyone to have body armor doesn't necessarily have to be this one, but by all means, go out there and make use of all of, of, of the resources available to us, uh, at least here in America. And that is it. Uh, two thumbs up. Go out there, get you some. Uh, specifically, Merit Tactical is a reliable company. Um, you, 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 you know, this, this isn't a $5 fictitious thing. This, this, is, this is real. Um, and I would encourage everyone on one side of the spectrum or the other to go out there and buy this regardless. Make use of all the tools available to you, at least here in the United States. And as always, if you liked what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the project, hit that other button. You'll help support the project. There are links below. Until next time here, Steve in the Woods.